the Sam Lehman Sports Desk with Patrick Cunningham. What a year for sports 2023 was in Central Illinois. Tonight we'll count down our top 10 plays, moments, and storylines of the year. This was a brutal list to whittle down to just 10. So we'll actually start with an honorable mention back from back in softball season. The Leroy softball team, they were in the state quarterfinals taking on Ottawa Marquette. They didn't have a single base runner until the sixth. They took a scoreless game into extras when Natalie Loy, a two-out triple up the middle, got to the wall. Two runs come home to score. The team goes nuts in the dugout. Coach, big hug for Natalie at third. They won 2-1 to one to clinch their first ever trip to state. Now to the rest of the countdown at number 10, the Heartland Community College baseball team with an absolutely dominant run to a national championship. The Hawks finished the regular season at 53 and 5, which included a 24 game winning streak, and they were led by I IVC grad and former ISU pitcher Chris Razzo as their manager. Now at number 9, how about Notre Dame boys soccer winning a super sectional on a snow covered field? Never seen anything like this before. Caden Hudson, the star striker for the Irish, with the game winning goal in the final minutes to win 1 0. Check out this celebration. He slides through the snow. The Irish super sectional champs, and they would finish as the two-way state runner-up. Number eight, we go to the state track meet out at Eastern Illinois University. Normal communities, Alliance would finish with not one, not two, but three gold medals highlighted by her comeback anchor leg in the 4 by 4 She got this baton while in fourth place, and look at her zooming past the competition. Less than half a lap in, she gets in first place, and she is ecstatic as she crosses the finish line. Then Central Catholic's Isaiah Whitaker, this young man, breaks the state pole vault record as a freshman. 16 feet, 8 inches when he clears the bar. He has got a bright future ahead of him. Number seven, Washington Wrestling wins the state duels championship. They were taking on Joliet Catholic, the team they lost to by just one point in 2022. Cannon Webster earned five points in his match, and that proved to be the difference, winning by technical fall. The Panthers, they avenged their loss with a state title win, once again decided by just one point, but this time they were on the much sweeter side of things. At number six, Paige Robinson, the star guard for Illinois State women's basketball, led the Redbirds to a regular season Missouri Valley Conference title. Then she was the program's first ever WNBA draft pick, getting picked by the Dallas Wings. Got to throw out the first pitch at an ISU baseball game as well. At number five, the Central Illinois community rallied to remember Dunlap soccer star Tessa Sutton after her passing. She had battled cancer for nearly two years after being diagnosed in high school. Teams raising money for her foundation, as well as playing in her three-on-three -three tournament and having memorials during games. Just days later, the tragic deaths of Prairie Central's Drew Fair and Dylan Bazell killed while on a spring break trip in Colorado. Multi-sport stars for the Hawks just days after their passing, though. The track community remembering them at a meet at Illinois Wesleyan, wearing commemorative bands and blocking off the lanes they were assigned for races. A touching moment for sure. Number four, the U High gir girls soccer team taking home a state trophy. The state title game needed overtime, though. Senior co-captain Charlie's car with the game winning goal. An unforgettable moment in her final game as she gets to host the championship trophy with her teammates. Down to number three, Morton native Tommy Cool making his PGA Tour debut at the John Deere Classic. But what made this so special was the great crowd he had following him for two days around all 18 holes. Look at this. Seemingly the whole town of Morton showing up for the Illini All-American, and he'll never forget this hug with his dad. At number two, a look back to a sold-out Carver Arena in the final day of the Missouri Valley Conference regular season. The Bradley Braves needed a win against Drake to win the NBC title, and they showed out for their home fans. Look at this absolute pandemonium breaking out as the team, students, and fans rush the floor. Bradley won their first regular season title since 1996. And finally, at number one, the Metamore Redbirds, one year removed from losing in the state title at the buzzer in double overtime, they got a second shot. They needed overtime again, but this time they would finish on top. Known as a football powerhouse, Metamora wins their first ever state basketball championship, showing the rest of the state that these Central Illinois teams can compete with the Chicago area programs. And with your final sports of 2023, I'm Patrick Cunningham.